In this video, we're going to look at a couple examples for solving transversal problems with equations. And this is level two within the Delta Math Online system here. So again, for my students, I want you to show your work on how you uh, write the algebraic equation and solve. So on this one, we have three parallel lines, but we're really looking at the two with the transversal there. Those are just same side interior angles, right, or co-interior angles. So we know that their relationship is they are supplementary when the lines are parallel. So to write the algebraic equation, it's 2x plus 14 plus x minus 5 equals 180 degrees. We're going to combine like terms. So we get 3x plus 9 equals 180. Now we're going to move that 9 by adding the opposite, negative 9 to both sides. Or you say subtract 9 from both sides. So we get 3x equals 171, and now we're going to divide both sides by 3. So we're going to get x equals, uh, is that 57, I believe? 57. All right. So let's put that into delta math. Again, it already has x equals. We just have to enter the number, 57. If you want to double check it, you could substitute the 57 for x for both the both uh, angles and make sure that those those angles add up to 180 or if you have a problem where it says what's the measure of each angle you'd substitute the 57 in for x and, and find the values of each expression represented by the angle for example 57 minus 5 is what 52 so this would be this angle is 52 and 2 times 57 is what 114 plus 14 is 128 and you see how 52 and 128 add up to 180 so this should work, and it does. Here's another example. Now, this one doesn't have a direct relationship, right? Well, actually, I take that back. It does. These are same side exterior angles, right? So this angle here and this angle here are same side exterior angles. So we know that their relationship is they are supplementary. So we're going to go 4x plus 8 plus 72 equals 180, right? So then we're going to get 4x plus 80 equals 180. So subtract 80 from both sides, 4x equals 100. Divide both sides by 4, x equals 25. So let's substitute that in for x here, delta math, and we got that one correct. So we have one more. So this time, we don't have a direct relationship between the, with these angles, but I know that the 4x plus 11 would correspond right here, right? And then these two angles would correspond. So they're corresponding angles, which means the measures are the same. So the algebraic equation is simply 8x minus 17 equals 4x plus 11. So now we are going to get x on one side, the number on the other. So let's add 17 to both sides. And then I want to move that 4x, so I'm going to subtract 4x. And what you do to one side, you must do to the other to keep it balanced. So then we get 4x on the left equals 28. I want 1x, so we're going to divide by 4, both sides. Divide by 4, and we get x equals 7. So let's substitute that in, x equals 7, and we got it right.